OK, in the Harvey Norman Lounge on Pet Corner today, I'm joined by our lovely resident vet, Alex Melrose. Great to see you, Alex. You too. Actually, no, it's not great <laughs> to see you. I keep seeing you everywhere. My supermarket go. pet food shop. Um, on YouTube, I turn on a video. There you are, plugging yeah. some pet food. Sorry, sorry. It's like I'm uh, almost as popular as Mike these days. Yes, <laughs> he hasn't got his own pet food, though, no, you know. Sure. Now, yeah. um, what, what I guess, seeing as you're plugging that, we should really talk about good yeah. nutrition for our pets. Why is it so yeah. important? Well, it increases the quality of life and the quantity of life. So healthy diet probably changes their lifespan by a couple of years. So if you're talking about the most important thing in nutrition for your pet, what is it? Uh, quality of ingredients. Yeah. Um, and probably also the breakdown of, you know, fats versus protein versus carbs. Yeah. It's a big thing in commercial diets. Yeah. And I was reading somewhere that um, water, like water is key for your pet, and a lot of people forget that. How much is the ratio they should have sort of like water to food? Well, it's not so much a ratio, it's just that people tend to forget access to water, especially if their pet's a bit older, yeah. and, and, and it can't get in and out the, the, the pet door as easily, and so it'll, it'll start to drop its water intake down. Um, things like when it's raining and, and their pets don't want to go outside because they're, you know, it's inclement weather and the yeah. bowls are outside and yeah. people just sort of don't keep a, a watch on it very much. And it's just like us, we, you, you need to drink a lot of yeah. water to keep yeah, hydrated. Yeah. Yeah. Keep your kidney function good, keep your uh, liver function good. Yeah. Okay, so um, if, you, if you're looking at nutrition with your pet, what are the, you said obviously it's the ingredients in there, so what are we looking at when you, know, you go to that pet food aisle, there are so many different yeah. foods yeah. on offer, what am I looking at? Do I turn it around and look at the yep. ingredients, what do exactly. I need to see? That's what you've got to do, you've got to dig down a bit deeper and look at um, what's on the pack and where they've sourced the ingredients from. A, a really good place to start is to look at protein levels. Okay. Because it's much cheaper for companies to jam a whole lot of carbs into their products. Yeah. Um, and, and sort of use Bulk it as a it. filler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So if you look at protein levels, especially with cats, they need a really high level of protein. So ideally, if you've got a protein level of, say, 40 to 50% for cats, um, not a lot of products will, will do that, but that's a really good guide that it's quality. Okay, so um, a lot of the foods, they say, are oh, added minerals, got added vitamins. Mm. They, do you actually need that in the pet food? Yeah, they do. Um, and, then, and that's where you've probably got to do a little bit more research, even beyond the packaging, where you've got to look at how does that company make its product. Right. Because if, if the processing destroys all the added vitamins and minerals, it's not much good. No. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And what about naturally? How can I naturally help my, my cats, for example, get more of those minerals and vitamins that they need? Well, that's difficult because what, what you'll find is that people have the best intentions to start giving sort of a, a balanced home meal, but, yeah. but it just doesn't happen. We've got such busy lives that, that nobody sort of does that consistently. So again, you're, you're better to just select a really high super premium pet food that's already got those in it um, rather than sort of to worry about dabbling. And the big question, and my cat's obese, so I'm probably not the person to answer this. You are. How much should you be feeding your pets? Well, it's, yeah, it's good that you mentioned that because the, all those packagings will give you guidelines of number of grams per kilo of, yep. of animal, right? But really, you have to go by the individual animal's condition. So, in, <laughs> so with, an, with your cat, was it being... Um, a little, a little bit chubby, shall we yeah. say. Uh, you, you already know that you've got to reduce the volume so, so, and the calorie intake. So you can play around with low-calorie diets, but at some point you're going to have to restrict the amount that you're giving your cat. And, and then you can judge it by the condition of the animal. So a really good thing to do is to check, does it have a waist? <laughs> Which a girth that the answer swings. I suspect yeah. is no. And, um, and then try to look at the ribs and just see how much covers over the ribs. It's a really good area to be able to tell how much body fat there is. So if you can't see the ribs, it's not a good thing? Yeah, you should be able to see sort of a, just the outline of the right. ribs through the body. Which okay. again, I, I doubt. <laughs> Poor monkey, yeah. no you no, can't. No. <laughs> Something to work on. Thank you yeah. very much, Alex. It's Fantastic okay. as pleasure. always. Now to our pet of the week. Congratulations to the very dashing. Zombo! You've got $50 to spend at petpost.co.nz. Um, actually, it's on its way to your owner, Brittany Gibbons, because she'll go online for you. And if you'd like to enter your pet, it can be any type of pet. Just upload a pic on our Facebook page.